Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I am going to talk about this awesome 360 watts generator. So as you can see that there is a full mounting frame provided for this generator if you are going to use it as a wind turbine generator or for producing hydroelectricity which is electricity from water or you are going to use it as a bicycle generator which I prefer the most. It also has a very long shaft that is always helpful for any project that you are working on. So this was all about the external appearance of the generator. Now coming to the internal features. So this generator has a permanent magnet rotor. So the rotating field is permanent magnet so you don't have to provide any external supply to activate the field which means that if you rotate the shaft well, then it will start producing electricity without any delay and the electricity generation will increase with the increase in RPM of the generator. Now this generator is rated at 1800 RPM but this RPM is reduced because of this gearbox. I should tell you that uh, the generator part is only from here to here. You can see the coils inside and uh, this black thing, uh, this is the permanent magnet. So uh, this part produces the electricity and uh, the RPM is reduced by this pre-attached reducer gearbox and this gearbox ratio is 10 is to 1 which means that if I rotate this shaft one time then this generator will rotate 10 times in return so this generator is rated at 1800 RPMs so the shaft RPM gets to be 180 RPM the output voltage of this generator is 24 volts for 3 phase AC and the current rating of this generator is 15 amperes. So let's perform some interesting practical tests on this generator. So first I am going to perform the DC generator test and for this I have connected a 3 phase bridge rectifier to the output terminals of this generator and to learn how to make a 3 phase rectifier yourself click on the link above and uh, the output of this rectifier is connected to a motorcycle bulb which is rated 12 volts so I'm going to use this crank to rotate the shaft of this generator and the bulb should glow okay so let's let's connect it so you can see that I could easily light up this bulb with this generator so now I am going to perform the DC voltage test and for that I have connected a multimeter at a range of 20 volts and uh, I am going to rotate this shaft and you should see the voltage reflected on the LCD screen. Okay. So the maximum that I could produce was 12.5 volts and its rated voltage is 24 volts. Now I have connected the multimeter in the current measurement mode. So the maximum current measuring capability is 10 amperes. You can see that it is pointing to 10A and uh, the reading will be uh, reflected on the LCD screen as I will rotate the shaft. You can see with one single rotation it easily produces around 2 amperes. Let's see what the maximum I am capable of. So it was 4.84 so the maximum current that I can produce with uh, my one hand is 4.84 amperes that is almost 5 amperes and the rated amperes of this generator is 15 amperes okay so guys in this test I'm going to use this UPS transformer and you can see that it is a center tap transformer because it has three wires two outer wires and one the middle one and these are the two output wires of the transformer so I'm going to step up the output voltage of this generator by using this transformer and as you can see that this transformer is a single phase transformer and this generator is a three phase generator because it has three wires so I'm going to connect only two wires to this transformer while the third wire will remain open since I don't have a three phase transformer so I'm going to use a single phase transformer it is connected I'm going to move it a bit forward so that you can see it is really heavy 
So this is the transformer and this one is left open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the output voltage of this transformer when I rotate the shaft of this generator. So for that I have a multimeter that I'm going to point towards the AC voltage mode 200. So it's pointing towards the 200 volts AC mode. So watch the LCD screen. You can see a simple rotation it produces easily 38 or 40 volts. And as I will increase the voltage, the output voltage increases to 65, 66, 71, 83. Let's see what I can do with it. Yeah, so the maximum voltage that I could produce with my hands was 164 volts AC. So uh, you can see how easy it is to step up the voltage of an AC generator. Since it's a three phase AC generator, then uh, it is really easy with an AC generator to step up the voltage with the help of a transformer. Because had it been a DC generator, like a permanent magnet DC generator, then you will have to use uh, an inverter to convert that DC to AC and also to step it up. So this was the multimeter voltage test. Now let's do some practical load test. Okay so guys for practical tests I have this 100 watts 220 volts incandescent bulb that we use in our house. So I'm going to hook it up to this transformer and let's see if it can glow this bulb. So yeah it's like this and now I'm going to rotate this shaft and you should see the bulb glow. Okay go. So I have this really expensive Alcon electrolytic capacitor that is rated 10,000 microfarads and 250 volts. So uh, this is just a fun thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge this capacitor with this transformer uh, by rectifying the AC output of this transformer with the help of a rectifier and then feeding that power to the capacitor. And then I'm going to perform some tests and you will see so so first what we have to do is we have to charge the capacitor so okay getting on with it yeah it is charging Now let's see the voltage that it has attained. So it is indicating 140.9 volts. That's a high voltage. And uh, the voltage is not that important, but it's the capacitance. The capacitance is 10,000 microfarad that is going to uh, dissipate a really high current. So I'm going to short circuit that high current and we'll see how much smart, uh, spark or how much energy dissipation we can get. So it is always advised uh, to insulate the rod that you are using uh, for short circuiting uh, a capacitor. So I'm going to use this rod and I insul uh, insulated it with this and also wear some eye protection glasses because they will be sparks. So, so get ready guys. So I believe that you heard the sound, it was really awesome and it is really fun to short circuit a high voltage and high capacitance transformer. It's really, it's just like a big cracker and the sound is like boom. So yes, that's that was all about the video and that was the energy that I could feed this capacitor with my hands. So it was like human energy fed 
capacitor. So that was all about the video. Thank you so much for your time. Please don't forget to share and subscribe and hit like. And if you have further questions about the video, then ask them in the comments. Thank you.